the second part of how to repair uh, this hoverboard uh, controller. The primary goal, of course, how to repair them. Secondary goal here to, to get uh, to understand and to get rid of this uh, very nasty noise that I and also others have. It's only uh, input pull up uh, on the Arduino uh, to when, if you have serial control, uh, but it's also the um, serial debug output or the serial feedback, uh, which um, the, the RX line on the Arduino is also an input pull up. And this might also explain why uh, the, the communication, uh, serial communication sometimes really is very uh, <laughs> noisy. Uh, but and, and the third thing that I want to begin with is, uh, you see here uh, to uh, really, uh, uh, by now I get daily daily questions from from others, uh, and I happily answer them. Uh, but um, I really I think it's time that that we. Um, I want to make an expert system, really uh, not a, sh a forum software with simply blah, blah, like here in the comment section, and then it's all get lost, but a really uh, a s a s expert system where all of you uh, enter your, uh, how, which uh, firmware you are using, uh, which um, control method you have experience with, uh, which um, Tool change you have you have experience with so my online compiler or the the proprietary um, Kyle software platform uh, I O, uh, which uh, kind of hoverboards which uh, um, even repair you see right now uh, did already have um, sorry. <laughs> If you already have repaired the board, uh, if you exchange the MOSFET, if you now exchange the uh, uh, voltage regulators, the three of them, that's the main focus on this video. And, and lots also special ex um, things like uh, re regenerative braking uh, and, and all these things so that really if someone comes up with a question, this will automatically, automatically be added to an FAQ and all the people who have experience in this field uh, um, will get notified and so that we really uh, get community. Uh, I will talk on this later because you see with my object oriented uh, software, <laughs> I could uh, hear um, do this in, in less than an hour. And so that's the third thing I'd really uh, want to push forward, even would like to make a small Kickstarter uh, because my online compiler right now is limited to one com compilation at a time because I'm using this uh, server for, for other stuff. And so I uh, would two or three euro or four euro per month to, to get a really an uh, own virtual server. So uh, back to the noise. And yeah, let's let's start with with this hoverboard here. Uh, as you can already see, lots of parts here missing. Uh, first uh, thing, uh, two of these MOSFET uh, blue, and and so after then I unsoldered them, and then then the next next second two. Uh, um, blue and, and so I should have uh, taken into account that maybe uh, some something here uh, other is broken but I well continued and then this one and and then um, this then no MOSFET no longer a bird but uh, here the, this uh, this is a second uh, voltage regulator blue and uh, later I noticed that this capacitor here blew. And so first I want, I want to now talk, explain to you how this here uh, is working. So here, first uh, perhaps here on, uh, on this nice schematic, I think it's from this original Nicholas Ford. Uh, he, he made all the reverse engineering. And so we have two uh, uh, Darlington PNP transistors. And um, the first one here is uh, well to um, turn the turn the th thing off, and that's uh, here. Yeah, this is Darlington uh, PNP tip one two seven, and here the, the middle pin is the output, and the output is the same as here as this uh, backside. And so, if you want to measure a shortcut uh, here. 
be between <laughs> the input and the output. Uh, then you can here, you see that's uh, a battery voltage and this would be the output of the NVC uh, shortcut, uh, which, uh, sorry, is uh, not okay because it's a PNP and usually here this uh, resistor pulls the base uh, to, to up to, to the input and therefore this is not uh, conducting. But as a, um, here, uh, you see when you touch this button, uh, some this um, supply end that's uh, from here directly from um, our uh, STM32. Uh, he can here NPN pull down this line over this resistor, so this base can be pulled down, and then it gets charging, and, and you can measure here now the battery voltage. I think this shunt resistor and yet you already are here. And this is now the, the voltage regulator for uh, the gate, uh, 1450 volt gate voltage. And uh, so it really have a lot of boards uh, where where is, um, can, can we hear, here upwards. I think here it's also, that's uh, uh, from, from yesterday video, lots of boards where this first uh, transistor already burned. And this, uh, then uh, if you, this power on button d d does not really have any function anymore. And if you notice that uh, your board uh, directly comes to life or if you want to shut, uh, turn it off and it is a, a long beeping, and then uh, probably this uh, you want to replace this. Don't really know why this uh, burns. So this you see is again such a question. I would like to um, ask this question and, and then this uh, uh, others you see right now, no one will, <laughs> will, will answer me, but if we had, would have such an expert system where people would get notified and where people would be happy to uh, buy such a DSO, I, you see it's only 20, 20 euro. And if you would have such a community, I think everyone would be happy to at least have such a really nice uh, pocket. Um, well, battery low of my multimeter. And you see it's here 100 volt, five amps. Um, don't really know what, what, why, is, how, how this could um, burn. And so you see, if you want to test, you see uh, um, here just uh, battery inputs as a red line and it, yeah, turn it off. Uh, you see here from, from plus to, to this and oh, that's good. And next thing you can do is to, here I will show you, uh, so I think here it's, it's still working. Everything okay, so here the plus and uh, to this and you did hear her, there was a small beep but that's a capacitor and you see now there's nothing. Next thing you can check is this here because um, you see the input of this uh, 15 volt regulator that is here the output of this here. So if you now have a shortcut again you did hear a small beep that was I think this capacitor here uh, but you see um, no the, so this uh, second uh, Darlington transistor is still okay. Uh, and here, as you can already see, <laughs> as I unsolded it here, this one uh, did, did break. So you can either uh, go on the, on the main board and here try these uh, input, but it's easier to see to take the output here. And, and then, yeah, then you have to take the, the middle pin uh, of this. No, again, you see the middle pin is the output, so you could take uh, these two. And I did notice that this did burn. It is a five volt regulator. So uh, let's go back here to the schematics. Uh, this is a Darlington here. Uh, and there's already the difference. Go back to the images. Uh, that's the MOSFET. I will talk about this later. Here, this is uh, my hoverboard uh, um, down below my, my, my car, my solar car. And this is really a PVM. Uh, take a look at here the, the, the mic, the, the period. It's about, um, I think, 30 microseconds is one period. 
and uh, okay let's go back to here the noise is 60 microseconds so i'm searching for the 60 microseconds uh, period noise and uh, okay here there's the pvm of the mosfet that's uh, it's also 60 microseconds about so this might be um these mosfets um, already in on state um, doing their job and so you see someone could uh, upload here uh, a firmware that simply does nothing simply uh, no in the main loop nothing to 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 see if then uh, this uh, we don't have uh, the pvm uh, on the on the motor mosfet and then also we don't have this I think someone you see uh, i don't have time to to all to do all this so someone would like to, might be like to do that and here that's uh, as i just said that's uh, the output of this um tipped one, 127 and um, this uh, then gets filtered by this uh, inductivity and, and here's a capacitor and this capacitor uh, here is also um, burned. So, I, okay, it was a lot of smoke. So I did not notice which one burned first, the capacitor or uh, here is a second uh, voltage regulator, which comes uh, from here. Uh, so yeah, take a look at the schematic. It's okay if this is all a bit chaotic. So you see the, the output here, which really uh, is, is very uh, not <laughs> simply rectangular uh, PVM. But this uh, again, we have this uh, low pass, uh, no high pass. So the, the low pass, the high frequency is filtered with this inductivity and this capacitor goes to the input of this 5 volt regulator, the output again goes to this 3.3 volt regulator and this one then goes to the uh, STM32. And, and so you see if this capacitor was the first to burn, uh, but it's behind the inductivity and it's only 25 volt, you, know, you see, whereas this uh, PVM that goes up to 40 volt. And so, uh, but this inductivity should uh, save uh, this capacitor from, from getting these high peaks. But if uh, this was the first to blow, then uh, the, this filter would not be uh, working any longer. And then we would have, I would have had these high 40 volt, uh, uh, 30, uh, 35, 36, 40 volt. Uh, peaks here on this uh, 5 volt regulator and this 5 volt regulator. Is it this already? Uh, where, where is it? Here. This is only 15 uh, here, 35 volt tolerant. And, and so then this could blow, and, and then um, if when this blows, and, and really indeed. Uh, let me see if I now measure the input and output of this 3.3 volt voltage regulator. Uh, yeah, I also have a shortcut and that means all three uh, voltage regulators uh, did uh, blow up and in the end uh, here this STM for sure got the 35 volt. And, and so in the first um, parts here the MOSFET uh, maybe blew first because in the end here, the, then this uh, smoke came from here. So uh, you see, if you have a, a shortcut, and that's what you see, the first thing you have to check the plus and minus, if you have a shortcut here, then you have to check these MOSFET. And if then, you okay, you can unsolder the, the MOSFET. You see, also you see, uh, just uh, measure shortcuts between that uh, gate and, and the uh, emitter collector. That's the first video. Uh, then, um, you, okay, you can unsolder them, but uh, do not <laughs> directly uh, first um, attach the battery again, because then you see if uh, then um, you see the, they did not uh, explode it. Um, this, um, there had been a reason, and if the reason had been these voltage regulators, and as I said, here this first uh, tip uh, 100 so this can easily be... Uh, for some reasons, and if the second and then is um, also shortcuts, then you get 35 volts here on, on this uh, 
five volt regulator which can be uh, too much and and if it's really check these uh, these uh, voltage regulators if they still work and it might uh, be um, don't know but you see some I would, maybe someone would like to do it it would be a uh, might be a good idea to unsolder here the inductivity that's here this this black uh, thing uh, you see on on the back uh, you see here, um, it's quite easy to unsolder, but okay, it's, it's just a uh, step that might not be needed. But if you unsolder it, then you could attach the, the battery again and measure if you really have this 14 volt here. And if these 14 volt, uh, okay, they are no longer get filtered. So you will see something like uh, that. Uh, with this working uh, other here above uh, from, from the previous video, I have this as at the output it's so you see would like you to also test it uh, here this is this 14 volt and and this is not a um, pvm rectangular but it's a longer period and this is the base of this transistor you see it's a pnp so here the base is pulled to low getting a bit lower and then you have this uh, on off which okay gets filtered if the capacitor uh, is okay this here this this middle capacitor 25 volt and okay i think the, the coil cannot uh, really break down <coughs> so but you might check i want to check this capacitor and i did check uh, this um, simply here with the diode tester voltage and this oscilloscope to see if there's a bit of damping and indeed uh, here uh, down below with my hoverboard there was uh, so here yeah, even so it's this rectangular uh, the filtered uh, if i turn it off so i don't have this rectangular uh, uh, pvm but only uh, apply uh, one volt here with the di diode tester and with a dso see if the discharge and and charging a curve then i yeah it looks like my capacitor is still working so i can assume that and uh, okay you can measure this here on um, here on on the output and here then you can go here to measure the input of the second volt regulator and that's behind after this coil and so of course you shouldn't have uh, any ripple uh, any um, such pvm but uh, filtered uh, 14 14 volts and these, I think, from here, then it's going to uh, to these um, diodes and then to the gate drivers, this 15 volt. Oh, that's uh, the base uh, down below with my hover, car, uh, hover uh, solar car, uh, which the voltage regulator here, for some reason, makes this uh, really nasty PVM. Uh, and this is uh, the base. Uh, uh, also a bit strange because uh, no, it's not. This is a transistor that's here. So you can um, back to the schematics. There is this transistor here, which uh, drives uh, the, the base of the Starlington transistor. And, and so uh, you can also with a DSO uh, oscilloscope here that's... Uh, the so pin uh, all close most of this transistor most close to uh, to this um, Darlington transistor uh, and there you get uh, down below you see I, I get this and okay this is uh, because you see I have this uh, PVM uh, rectangle whereas here uh, where the base is just um, longer period small uh, trigger I have this so okay yeah um, and, and again you see I have here only has these, these strange spikes uh, that makes this 14 volt and you see most of the time we have the 14 volt well yeah because okay it's a longer distance and therefore the capacitor uh, uh, still sets this uh, output voltage uh, to, to the one that's uh, going here to, to the input I have another uh, board where uh, instead of these uh, tip uh, 127 Darlington transistors, I have a P channel and an N channel. And you now you might say, oh, N channel more efficient. Uh, but um, this first stage here, 
uh, as far as I understand, it, it's not a step down, um, uh, inductive step down anyway. It's just a P some kind of PVM and a filter. And so you go down from 36 to 14 volt and simply burn uh, this uh, 20 volts in, in this uh, Darlington uh, transistor. Which is, you see, there's a power surge of, of the electronics and the, the well, six gate drivers. Uh, so you need some amps to, to drive the gates, but it's not such a huge power consumption. So it's, it's okay. And, and so it doesn't really matter if you have a MOSFET or, or darling. But as I said, these uh, seem to burn quite often and I would like to understand why. Yeah, that was a schematic. Again, this, you see this is um, the transistor uh, driving the, the base. Down below this is uh, the output and uh, have not. Yeah, these are this MOSFET. Um, I, you can order them. Uh, where, where is it? Uh, sorry. Uh, 10 pieces. As uh, I did order this one and here you might have already s seen it yesterday. Uh, so you see I unsold it and you can already plug it then in and it, it, it did already work here with, with, with them. So again from this nice image uh, from, 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 from also from Niklas 4 and the first. Uh, uh, so here that's the image you see that's a 5 volt regulator here the 3.3 volt regulator and here up these two transistors here you see there's a heat shield uh, for the first who simply turns on and off and uh, don't know why there's always a shrink tube on, on them uh, for, for the second and here you see to the right is a transistor that drives uh, the base of this uh, darling. So these are the things uh, that you can also check. You see, first transistor is this has a shortcut. Then the second very important uh, darling transistor that makes this uh, 14 volt for the gate voltages. Because you see, if this blows, then uh, the gate voltage might really go up to 35 volt. And uh, that's uh, I showed it here. I haven't found yet uh, uh, any uh, data sheet for these Chinese uh, MOS N channel MOSFETs. You see, it's it's something like well, 70 volt um, voltage and and this nine amps or nine milliohm or whatever. And so don't. Uh, but um, I think uh, 35 um, volts might be too much uh, for for. So if you see, if the second one here really um, has blown and we have this full gate voltage here, it's also you can of course check before. But as I said, you see, if you unsolder them and then turn on the voltage to see if you have here the gate voltage of, of 14 volts, then you might already, before that, you might already experience these uh, secondary and third um, voltage regulators to blow. And you see, if, if this last one, you see, it's now here for salvage. Uh, if this last 3.0 volt, if the shortcut here between input and output, uh, then it's game over. <laughs> And then uh, very likely uh, you see uh, your STM will have an, an no use. And, and here there's a capacitor you, you could check. Uh, so if this filtering uh, mechanism works, and but you could also check here then the voltage here. But of course, if you did unsolder here the, the, the inductivity, then you won't have here uh, this um, <coughs> input. Uh, because you see that's in between. Yeah, that I think you see um, to understand these three voltage regulators and, and how um, why it's important to, to, to check them. And again, you see, I would like you to, to also make, uh, if you have an oscilloscope, uh, send me pictures. Uh, if it also looks like this, or really if the, uh, is, is that it should look like, like that. You see, um, because then this might be a hint that um, with my um, controller in my hover, in my solar car, there's something wrong. Yeah, and as again, you see, it's um, this here, this, this 60 microseconds period that could be uh, directly connected to the MOSFET driving, but. Um, here, this is half a period, so maybe two times, you see, it's only 
at the input pull up you see the, the 3.3 volt of Arduino mini and and the 35 6 volt everything is filtered very nice it's only this input pull up so it's an input that's um, just open right now no, not pull, pulled down but internally pulled up uh, and and then very, very nasty okay and so finally back uh, to what I would, would like here is the 225 and it's very unusual it's it's only here this uh, hoverboard you see usually my uh, uh, far far less uh, viewers and, and comments and but really most uh, this uh, can we go to the beginning The hoverboard community is the most active here. You see also again my tutorial 34. And then this, uh, where here this hoverboard now is 46. And so I really, it, I think it would be a good idea, especially when you think that uh, electric cars right now is the future. And here in Germany, if, uh, if, uh, VW? VW, Mercedes, BMW, they all really desperately need uh, uh, programmers and you see programmers with electric car experience. So if you would have such an expert system, I'm pretty sure that uh, sooner or later all these car, big car companies, they will try to get everyone from us to work for them. Uh, and so uh, just you see, I want to show you here because you see I, I could now... It's my object-oriented database that I'm already developing since uh, 2003. And so I um, just want to show you uh, how, how it would look like with uh, me doing it. So you see search and it's uh, for basketball. So you see I've, um, I'm always on, on a 600 kilometers journey. And so I, I had this idea to, uh, to put all these chords. Okay, this is here outside. And, and then you see that's a chord and for a chord here you, you can um, then make games and then you can, um, so you see, you go here to new game and then you can say, okay, which location and, and which uh, kind of players you want to have and at what date it should take place, perhaps some words. And this is then get to all these uh, members who fit in, into this. You see, this is uh, very likely and this is my object oriented database where you can uh, it just takes a few, a few minutes so uh, let's log in and so if you now open the course okay it's main now for Germany and you see then you get this nice barcode that you can put on onto the <laughs> And so the basketball court and people simply have to scan it and then they get the URL to go to this new uh, where they uh, you see if I'm logged in, you can directly uh, select. No, it's not a message. I want to make a game. You see uh, which place and yeah, this is where you, and, and I could e quickly add uh, more things. So if you have experience with uh, these voltage regulators, if you have uh, a DSO or if you have a multimeter, uh, what, or if you have um, what uh, if experience with the MOSFETs, I quickly could add all these uh, specific information that, that you then could fill out. And uh, my, my profile. You see, yeah, 25%. It has increased by now. I think by now I'm over 50% field gold, uh, free, free throw. And you see, um, this is, it was 2002 by the time and no, no iPhone, no, no smartphones. And so no one had any idea of this guest gestures and, and moving screens. So, uh, this is, I call the Fludix mode, but no one really, um, under, I have a dozen of, of my web pages now with this thing and nobody really uh, tries to understand how to operate this. But it's really, it's very simple because it's object oriented. So um, you see it's, 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 it's this profile, it's a class and, uh, and, and again, there's a chord, it's a class. And so these are just objects and 
objects can have sub objects and so the, the game again is just a class and here there's a menu bars nothing but the access access privileges to these different classes so you see if i log out i i'm in the group member now uh, game gamers and i have a exit to exit the uh the, the session class and and if so if, then this will and here now the session the session class okay uh, just want to show you how it would like uh, would look like and yeah it's really <laughs> do we have people uh, you see ebay de uh, you all you have become so stupefied <laughs> and then you have learned by heart how such a website works and now you think this is the most uh, uh, best uh, perfect way to go and it's so stupid you see because you see he have uh, you can find here uh, let's search for for hoverboard uh, and then you have to the left something and and you have here to the top uh, some some filters and here you have uh, an, an uh, advanced search and, and and of course then you have here this this category uh, where you can also search and and you have multiple ways to to go something and and this is really the most bad way to of, of web design but you all have learned now by heart how such a work works and and then i come here with my pretty nice concept of an object oriented database where the menu is to the left and everything can exit to here if you search and then you search for example for games and then you can search for for the city and 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 for for only people like uh, advanced or, or beginners and this is uh, not hardwired it is just it's for everything same the same because it's everything is a class and so uh, everything has some properties that you can filter on and you have access rights to this class and that this will make up the menu bar and that's that's all <laughs> And still, no one really have try try to t go to one of my sites and try to register. You will fail. And that I want to say this: I would like to make such an expert system, uh, but, and but I will make it with this because I think you see that's perfect way to do it and and to adapt it and to continue to grow and and you see like sending messages to to those that are experts in these fields and then uh, um, uh, put the answer to an FAQ and, and so show the FAQ uh, b um, b based on this uh, question that you now have because you have already selected like what which firmware you are using or if you have a problem with, with you. Uh, okay, uh, this takes far too long. So <sighs> yeah, if you are interested in hoverboards, you see you might want to become an expert in how to repair these because this <laughs> seems to happen quite often for these uh, control boards. Okay, bye-bye.